are turning now to Project Drive Safer, TMJ4's year-long commitment to spotlight reckless driving in Milwaukee and potential solutions. Tonight, we're focusing on the consequences of running red lights after two people were killed along the same stretch in the or same street in the last 10 days. Ben Jordan reports from Sherman Boulevard. Two deadly crashes on the same Milwaukee street with one similarity. Police say the two men killed were both in vehicles running red lights. When people do that, they play Russian roulette. Mabel Lamb lives along Sherman Boulevard. You don't know what's going to happen if you do run that red light. She advocates against reckless driving as a Sherman Park Community Association's executive director. My condolences to the family of the victims, but I would definitely say, you know, this could be avoided if people just take their time. Just down the street from her, police say a 36 year old passenger died in this T-bone crash at Sherman and Roosevelt. A week before, surveillance video near Sherman and Villard shows a similar collision that took an 18 year old driver's life. Do these two incidents show the consequences of absolutely, running red light? Absolutely, absolutely. They do show the consequences. Milwaukee Municipal Court records show more than 2,500 red light citations were issued to drivers in 2022, the most in at least a decade. It doesn't surprise me to go down the street and see a car slipped over. Well, Michael Hoskins says he wants to see police issue more tickets to deter the behavior. It is out of control. I mean, it's so many people dying. We haven't seen deaths all over the place. Ticketing people is not necessarily the solution either. Mabel thinks the biggest factor is getting drivers to hold themselves accountable. These cars are not being driven um, by anybody but people who live in the community. So we really would ask that people slow down. I think that way they, their lives would be saved. Several state lawmakers believe one solution is to put red light cameras at the most dangerous intersections in each other manic district across the city. A bill to do just that is being introduced on Monday in Madison. However, that same bill has failed to pass the legislature each of the past three years. Reporting in Milwaukee, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News. All right, Ben. And Ben recently talked to state lawmakers about the red light cameras and looked into how the program is working in Chicago. You can see that report right now at ProjectDriveSafer.com.